everybody, welcome back to the Jeep, Jeep Off-Road Series. That's Highway 38 right there, and we just turned on to 2N01. That was the sign back there, but you gotta trust me, it's 2N01, and look who we got with us today again. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be able to do this, guys, if it wasn't for Matt, so Matt, thank you so much. You're an awesome, awesome dude. You've become a good friend. Uh, this, <laughs> is, this is awesome, so. All right, hey guys, we're back, like I said, and uh, if you look right here, we're uh, gonna take 2N01 to Broom Flat. Uh, this is a little trail that um, cuts right off the 38 and heads down to uh, Burns Canyon Road. Um, so here we go, let's check it out. Let's do it. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah. Remember guys, I don't know how to zoom in on these GoPros, so just, if there's a sign you, you want to see, just hit the pause button and zoom in, and uh, that'll show you. That's the only unfortunate thing. Well, besides the overheating aspect of these darn GoPros, which is not fun, but. Anyway, yeah, guys, we're on 2N01. This is off of Highway 38. It's probably about three quarters up your, on your way to Onyx Summit. Right past the 8,000 yes. elevation sign. Just past the 8,000 foot elevation sign on the left hand side if you're going up from Big Bear to Onyx. Yeah, just a little side road that goes, that uh, uh, descends down, uh, pretty much downhill for most of the way. Um, and um, has some just really good scenery. Maybe a trail that a lot of people don't do as much, or maybe don't know as much, but um, you know, this takes you down to a uh, well-known trail that burns Canyon Road. So I've been on this many times, and pretty flat road. Uh, you know, not too challenging. Probably a car can do it uh, during the winter. Of course, you know, besides the snow, you know. It's, it's raining, there's a couple of areas where it pulls up, uh, but other than that, there's just spectacular views here. And, and, and this spot, if the storm comes in at the right angle here, this spot can get hit so hard, you guys. So hard, because it's so much higher in elevation. We're at probably about 8,100 feet when you jump onto this road. So yeah, it's, uh, it's up there. As much as I love to wheel in the snow, you know, it, you, you don't want to get stuck in the snow. No, and gosh darn it, no. The deeper it gets, you know, the harder it is to get through. And so, um, but what happens up here is, even if it's, if it, in general, maybe just gets a foot of snow and you think you can get through it, on this trail, there you get these snow drifts, and they can be many feet, three or four feet. And um, so you kind of have to be careful of that. Yes. Yes. No matter how much of a bad arse vehicle you're driving, just like Matt, no matter what upgrades you did, you still have to be extra careful, you guys. You, you, you gotta be extremely vigilant on, on, on these roads, even in the summertime. You know, there are different types of, of issues like cars flying around blind turns. Um, I mean, yeah, there's things that can happen anytime, so you always want to be in the right vehicle with someone who has confidence in these types of roads. I don't know if you can cut through these trees, but you can see the 38 <laughs> over there. I don't know if you got Oh, I thought you meant you were, you were, you were going to drive. Uh, no, no. <laughs> I don't know if you can cut through these Hold trees. On. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping to, I could get you a, a glimpse of how uh, you can see the, that we're peeling away from the 38. Yes, yes. Yeah, so, uh, uh, yeah, guys. So we are getting away. Where, where do you think we're going to end up at the end of this? Irwin or Baldwin or something? Um, well, the end of this trail, basically, it ends at what's called Burns Canyon. And of course, the trail number is uh, evading me at this moment. I think it's 2N16. Don't quote me on that. Okay. Darn it. I, I quote him, guys. Quote no, him. No, no quote <laughs> uh, But, you know, this takes you straight down to, to Burns Canyon Road. And um, I think some of you are familiar with that. 
Burns Canyon basically runs east to west, west to east from Baldwin Lake, which is over there. Yes. It is so it's not, it's not very clear today. It's a little bit hazy. But if you look wow. down that way, like Baldwin Lake's cool, back cool that way. view right here. Yeah. This is a great view. And that's a huge prairie out there. Are you kidding me? Look it up. Just wow. one of many. Oh, wow. Yeah. Guys, like I never knew that was there. Like a fairy tale land. Totally, bro. You know, back here. Yeah, totally. You ain't is. seen nothing yet. Oh, I'm, <laughs> just, I'm so excited. I'm so but, excited, guys. You know, if you look, there's so much to see back here. You just gotta look. <laughs> so I gotta adjust the camera as much as I can, you guys, so you can see the different beauty up here. Because there is an awful lot going on out here. Yeah, it's just kind of an ordinary flat road, but the scenery it's really makes this trail yeah. kind of special. Yeah, guys, so far, Matt was, was not joking when he said, your regular car, you'd be fine on this because you're not going to be going this speed anyway, and, and you can avoid the little rocks. There's Baldwin Lake All right, right there. there's Baldwin Lake. And wow. see that orange area to, wow. the, to the right? Yeah, to, above to the right. That's where we were. That's where we were. Yeah. And, and in fact, we forgot to mention on that video that, you know, of course, there was the wooden structure there uh, that we saw. But right behind us is apparently they had, you know, that whole area of the mountain's been kind of dug out. So yes. You can see where it's, yeah. you know, and it, they're blowing it out there. It looks horrible when you're driving up Highway 18 next to that Mitsubishi plant just to look at, at that mountainside mm -hmm. and how much they've dug into it it's, it's really sad but you know there's actually another trail that does cut through that meadow um over here on our you know on our left um you can't see it from here but you know not only is that meadow really cool but there's a road that cuts right through it nice so. nice yeah, you see that little the little, little lizard yeah little, yeah you saw him too yeah i saw yeah. something yeah Little and we're always looking for that, you know, there's always stuff scurrying across the road. Yeah, guys, Matt Matt avoids them with yeah. everything he has, which makes me happy because I am an, a huge animal lover. I've seen people camp up here. I mean, down further below, you know, there's areas like if you guys want to come camping, um, I think you have to get a permit. You know, I forgot what it's called. The Adventure Pass. Adventure Pass. Yeah. I think you're supposed to have that. But once you have that, you can basically just kind of go anywhere. And guys, I don't know if the price is still the same, but it's... It's a, it, inexpensive. It just, yeah, just this last year, it was like 30 or 35 for one. And if you get a second one with that original purchase, it's only five bucks more. So you can get two for two cars for the whole season for like 35 bucks or something. Fire machine. You know, we're in the summertime, so, you know. Oh, yeah. You gotta be careful up oh, here. Oh, yeah. Smoking. And, oh, yeah, you will. And, 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 you know, there's some firing range or gun ranges down here. They, they even, and their sparks have to be careful, too. Well, what they do is the you can go onto the website, the um, National Forest website, and they apparently they, they will post there if you're allowed to shoot. Go shoot? Yeah, to okay. shoot. Like, they'll, they'll close the range. Oh. They don't want it to glad we're going this way now because my reflection was in this mirror and you can see my reflection while I'm recording. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, that, that ruins the video for you guys. You gotta look at me like that, non-stop, jeez, I feel horrible. This is pretty sweet, dude. It's, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just, it's just somewhere road. that I've never been. Yeah, and, and like I said, it's I definitely it. worth doing. Oh, dude, totally. You know, and we're just getting started, guys. Yeah. This trail takes maybe 30 minutes to the bottom. Look at that tree. Yeah, there was a fire there. Yep, yep. It looks like it got struck by lightning. Yeah. Speaking of fires, the foresters, the forestry, um, what I've noticed, and you'll probably start to see it up here, is they take seem, they appear to take a lot of the dead brush and pie and, and wood and make these piles and then they'll burn it. Um, you know, yes, certain times. we have prescribed burns, prescribed burns all the time. Right. Yes, and and they make it very clear with how many signs they put on the roads. 
like uh, saying, look, the smoke you are seeing, this is a prescribed burn. Do not call the fire department. Do not call the police. Right. I've yeah. seen that many times. <laughs> because, yeah, up, up here, any sign of smoke, people panic. Yeah. And how can you blame them? All right, check this view of the Look metal. at this. So that, that metal that we saw comes all the way down, and there's oh a road on there. And I've taken that road before, and it just, you know, you want to, like, do, like, a cool video or something? Just, I always want to do a cool video. Yeah, I mean, just going on that road alone, because oh you got all the, all the trees. Yeah. Oh, there's a bunch of guys over there on, oh, yeah. on motorcycles. Oh, yeah, totally, yeah. Look, on their four-wheelers. That'd be so much fun, dude. That's gonna be my next toy is an enduro. So I can go back here all the time. Alright, check this out. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh. That, that looks like Holcomb. Yeah. Just how big and green it is. Oh my gosh. Alright, here's like a Juniper Spring. Shoe N64Y. Is, if, you, if you turn right there. Probably a private cam. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Guys, look at this. I never knew this this angelic beauty yeah. was back here Very like nice. this. Oh my gosh, this is heaven. Look at this. This is absolute heaven. Seriously, we, we transported somewhere, bro. This is how I felt first time I drove up to Holcomb. I couldn't believe yeah. what I was seeing, right. that there's that huge plane of just beauty. So this turns right where we're at right here. This on the road, I don't think you saw it. And probably up here again, you know, you, during the winter when it rains, it develops these huge pools of water. Yes. And so that, that's kind of fun to go through those. You know, they're like two two feet deep or whatever. When I met Matt, his vehicle was a completely different color because he had been going through some serious, serious mud. That was when I met you at the coffee shop. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. That was winter time. That was winter time, wasn't yeah, it? Was, it? Yeah, guys. I mean, it was covered like, in mud, huh? Like, no, dude. It was it was layered. Beautiful. It's just like becomes very clay. You know, becomes real red, and then you got the blue. You know, it's brush, just spectacular. The green. You know, pine trees. I love the stuff. camp camp out here. Yeah, there's people. There's actually we're coming right up to it. Hang on, I gotta. that I think is super, super important for what we're doing. Again, guys, if I didn't have Matt here with me, even though I would still take this route if I had his truck, I, I wouldn't know what to tell you guys. Of course, some people would probably do all their research first, but for me, I just like to be surprised, which might not be the wisest way to go about these off-road adventures, but I'm, I did not expect what we just saw, that big beautiful prairie, that was spectacular. Yeah, I mean, if you were like a beginner, off-roader, and you and you have a Jeep, I, I would take this road as wow. a first, a first, uh, you know, first ride. Guys, we're at some, some elevation here. What is this, Matt? So, oh, oh, that's, oh, now, looking down into the desert. yeah, that's, Oh, I got the lights behind me. Let's pull over. Okay. He was the only one who didn't say thanks. The guy in the end. Uh, okay, one more. One more. So we got about. 60% who said thank you. <laughs> Seriously, man. Like, uh, I, because we are so uh, kind and use common sense and follow the, role, the rules of the road, when someone's on your butt, even if you're going the speed limit or faster, you're supposed to pull over and let them pass. Otherwise, you can get a ticket, and this is on main roads, obviously. You can get the ticket for obstructing traffic, even if you're going 10 miles faster than the speed limit and someone's on your tail and you don't pull over. I think that applies to mainly one and two lane roads because on a freeway, you can obviously 
go around the person who's going slow but on on roads where you can't you can be the one who gets the darn ticket even though you're speeding it's crazy I, the reason why i'm slowing down is that's yeah, the desert well down in the this canyon here is where we're going and that's the back desert back there okay but our destination is straight down there and you can kind of see it from one of these vantage points but there's a It's just red clay. Oh, oh nice helicopter. chopper. It's a military. Wow! Get in the chopper! <laughs> wow! Get down! As you guys know, we've been watching the channel for a long time. That's my only impression, and it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so check that out, dude. Oh, that, yeah! See all that red area down there? See all that red clay, you guys? Right where my finger's pointing? Holy smokes, I didn't expect that either. So it's kind of like a little extra credit section. That's where Burns Canyon is. Extra cred, guys. Yeah. It's yeah. a really fun little, there's a couple, it's all hilly over there, so you can, there's a bunch of whoop de doos and uh, some hills that you can climb. So it's, it's a lot of fun. Guys, I never thought I'd be able to do these videos ever because I just never had the proper vehicle. Once again, you and your regular car can make it down this so far. You know, it might not be good for your suspension, even though it's not that bad. It's not even good for my suspension. Yeah, true, yeah. No, no, true, right? True, right? Wow, look at this, guys. Look at that. guys and then uh, I think yeah, that's there there's uh the desert. So that way that is um what do you call that I mean that's basically Pioneer Town is down down that way yeah down that way that's Joshua Tree out there for the most part oh sweet guys yeah. I, I've never seen that view from our mountain range yeah I mean that's it, insane yeah that's that's basically that's down. towards Joshua Tree guys yeah sorry my voice pitched up This is exciting. I think this one reminds me more of uh, the Indiana Jones ride. <laughs> <laughs> Just, there aren't big balls chasing us. Right. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Not um, around these parts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, AJ. That's great. Yeah, like, you know, it's just a simple road. Because it's a simple kind of road. You know, one, one thing it's good for is that it is kind of, you know, approximately halfway between the beginning and the end of Burns Canyon Road. Okay. So, you know, if you don't want to take the whole, if you don't want to take all of Burns Canyon Road, you can always exit through this. And that's, that's actually how we discovered this. I don't know if I know the proper etiquette, so what what I'd be doing if it was my first time, obviously we can see around these corners and stuff, but like if it was a road that had gnarly, gnarly corners, would I oh. be wrong to honk the horn right before I get to those corners? Okay, you can okay. do that. I mean, you just go slow. Oh my gosh, look at how beautiful. Yeah, this is, this is a cool view. So you, you know you can still see Baldwin Lake, and then what's all that stuff? Yeah, on the hill you, I right don't know. There. You tell me, Nick. That must be the Sugarloaf area. Like, must be. I mean, it, it, that's it elevated. Looks like a, a huge. Oh my gosh, I can't even tell. Well, Baldwin Lake's over that side, so it's like up above. Yeah, that just Sugarloaf. I mean, it, it, it would probably have to be, but it doesn't look like it. Yeah. 
What a trip, man. Yeah, it's I, cool I don't even recognize it. That, you know, and that's what's neat about taking all these different roads is you start to see all the different vantage points. Totally. Yeah, I have no idea, brother. But I wish You know that what? That might be the high school, that big ass building on the right. Might be. Might be the high school. So that would it's be Sugarloaf cool. then. Yeah. Good call, bro. Good call. I've never seen the high school like that, so it, it confused me. Again, um, an, another awesome fact about these roads is stuff like that happens. You get the amazing vantage points that you've never had, never seen. It's great. And stuff from from getting all 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 this gold. How you doing? How many you got? Go oh, cool. Take care, guys. All right. We'll see ya. Have fun. Very cool. Yeah, this is a nice family. Couple of Jeeps. Hello. Yeah. And then, guys, I'm gonna be sticking the camera out the window. How you doing? A few times cool down the camera so the batteries don't die because this one's about to die because of the overheating. I know 
know that there are also mines down here, old mines that you know that you can go into. Um, but I don't know if, if they were gold mines or something else. I think they were mining for other things in those areas. I didn't. I didn't know that. Even though I do know they obviously mine for other things up here because that Mitsubishi plant right there is. Uh, That's right. <laughs> but I always thought the predominant mines that you'll find up here that you, you walk into were mostly gold or ore, right? Well, back up. Uh, well, I, I don't know. I think there's quite a. They're mining for all kinds of different stuff. Yeah, they gotta have a little bit of everything yeah. up here. Yeah. Yeah. Where there's gold, usually you'll find all that other stuff too. Now this is a great cruise. I'm really, really enjoying it. Yeah, it's real mellow. You know, it's just a cruise. It's, again, no obstacles on this road. A great beginner trail. Good scenery. You know, if you want to um, if you're testing something out, like you're doing like an overland rig, um, you know, you can test it out here. You know, here's where you start to see look the Joshua that. trees. Yeah. Wow, guys, look at those. Sorry about that. I just had to get those beautiful. Those are some big Joshua trees. So probably a lot of people don't realize it, but wow. the Joshua trees are not only in Joshua Tree, you know, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 miles east, but they come up, up to here. And there is a spectacular Joshua Tree um, meadow, if you will. Uh, it's huge on Burns Canyon. It's just right at the end of this trail. Oh, sweet. And we'll, we'll save that for when we do Burns Canyon. Sweet. Yeah, that's that's a really... Hopefully you can have your drone by that time. I can have it next would, time. You would want to film but, us driving through that. And, but, well, but we'll, we'll have our other buddy who uh, he's got his drone license so he'll 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 be doing the flying and then he's gonna send me the video cool yeah 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 hook that up for sure look whatever you do have the drone ready to go and uh, I think that'd be great it'll be ready they have the new DJI even though I've I've got that really cool DJI Mavic 2 I might just get that newest one all right there, you can Look see at how that big red. These Joshua trees yeah, isn't this are? awesome? Holy smokes, yeah. guys! It's so funny because you haven't seen this yet. I'm, but oh my gosh! In the background, you can see the red. We're getting close to that red clay area. Yeah. Wait till you guys see that. That is spectacular. I'm tripping and, over these dang Joshua trees. Yeah. I've never seen such a big, even oh, in Joshua tree. This is nothing. Have you seen them this big? Oh, they're even bigger. Oh no! Up way. ahead, yeah. Okay, right. now if, if we were in a different country, this would worry me. This is where these biker guys are. It's, it's this trail right up here. Up there? Yeah, up there. If okay. You, if you want to plant up there real quick. Hey guys. Take care guys. You guys taking the Heartbreak Ridge? Nice. Alright, well we'll keep our Have eyes fun. out for you guys. See you guys. Have fun. Alright, that trail right there is Heartbreak Ridge. We're still on 2901. That looks scary from the start. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. God, Heartbreak Ridge is, um, you know, I don't know like what all the numbers are, but it's definitely, you want to have, you could probably, you can easily do it in a stock Jeep, you know, Rubicon or, a, or even a Sport. Um, I, you can totally do it, you know. Um, but yeah, this is spectacular here. Yeah, this is unbelievable, you guys. I mean, this is just... And there's a little road that cuts Here it is right here. Look at this little road. Oh, yeah, see? Oh, sweet. And it turns into that red. Yeah, so in this little area here, this is like a little, like a Disneyland park. No, that's, dude, Where you can totally. just drive around and, you know, it's kind of like there's a lot of whoop de doos and there's areas where you can articulate your suspension. But here's the Joshua Tree field. I believe that's it. Can I reach my arm? Yeah. Thank you, bro. Well, you can't really see it yet from here. It's just. Yeah, but that it, right down there. All right, guys. All right, guys. We're back on. We're back on. Battery overheated, but guess what? We have made it to the very end of the 2N01, and it drops off into a few 
other trails too, you guys. And uh, I think that's what we're, we're gonna end up doing in the next couple weekends is taking one of these new trails and uh, showing you guys what it's like. What do you think, Matt? I think that's great. You know, all I wanna say is that if you go this way or you head west, this is Burns Canyon Road. It's 2N02. 2N02. I think I said it was 2N16 earlier. That yes. was another. It was close. Uh, it was close. It was divisible by two. It's true. <laughs> Very, good. Very good. But if you go this way, um, that takes you to Baldwin Lake and it ends at Baldwin Lake. Okay. Otherwise, if you go this way and you head east, uh, and we'll give you a little little beauty shot here. Check this out. Oh my gosh, Stunning. are you kidding me? Go that way, and that takes you down to oh my gosh. Pioneer Town, uh, epic, and then that's where Joshua Tree is. Okay. So pretty cool okay. stuff. But thanks for coming along, you guys. Yeah, thanks, guys. We love you guys. Thank you for the support. I know these videos are going to pick up steam eventually because it, <laughs> it's not what I do on this channel usually, but the and more part, this is what I was thinking when I thought to add and that's more what I was channel. thinking so take care guys thanks again for cruising the 2n01 hope you guys enjoyed this peace out peace